What is up guys, Delboy here. So some bad news coming out of the World Boxing Super Series. Zelano Tete has withdrawn from his fight with Nanito Denaire due to a shoulder injury. He's picked up the injury on fight week by the sounds of things. And, you know, it's super disappointing to be quite honest. I mean, if you've been following my channel in recent weeks or months, you would have known how excited I am for this bout between Tete and Denaire. I felt it was a really good fight and one that could have gone either way. In fact, I was picking Denaire for the upset, but unfortunately it doesn't look like we're getting it, or not at this minute at least. From what I've read online, the preferred option is for Denaire to fight on the card and a replacement to be drafted in, in place of Zelane Tete, and the name being mentioned is a fighter by the name of Stephen Young. Stephen Young is a domestic level fighter, in my opinion. He's based out in the United States. He's okay, nothing special, pretty basic, and I wouldn't really expect him to give Denair too many problems. I would expect Denair to take care of a guy like Stephen Young. Stephen Young is actually due to fight on the undercard. Stephen Young is scheduled to fight Nikolai Potapov, and that is a rematch of their first fight. They drew the first fight, so they're rematching on the undercard. So he, so Stephen Young has been in training, but you know he's not great. He's like I said, he's a domestic level fighter in the states, and really he doesn't belong at world class level, in my opinion. So Stephen Young would be a pretty poor replacement. But there's also a chance that they reschedule the Denaire Tete fight for another date. Now, from what I've read, that's not the preferred option. They would rather Denaire fight on the night against a replacement so the tournament can keep going. Because ultimately, if they reschedule Denaire versus Tete, that drags out the World Boxing Super Series longer than they want. And, you know, the whole goal of the World Boxing Super Series was that even if a guy got injured, the fights would continue, there would be replacements, and it would be swift and efficient. That was something they always stressed during the first season, and I think they may have learned from the Super Middleweight tournament. They waited for ages for George Groves to get ready, and it really pushed things back, and it was a bit of a mess in the end. So maybe they will learn from that, and uh, just go for a replacement this time around with Denair versus Stephen Young. So, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's disappointing news. And listen, I would rather they reschedule the fight between Tete and Denaire because I think it's a great fight. But if they don't, I do understand, unfortunately. It is what it is. And, you know, this is the downside of tournament boxing. Sometimes guys get injured and they will need to pull out and they will need to be replaced. We saw it in the Super 6 way back when. And we saw it during the last season of the World Boxing Super Series, when obviously Jürgen Bremer had to pull out due to, I believe, a virus at the time. So yeah, that's the downside with tournament boxing. Sometimes guys pull out and uh, we miss out on certain fights, but, you know, I, I do understand these tournaments need to be scheduled, they need to be streamlined, and they need to be efficient. And if the World Boxing Super Series decide to replace Tete, I get it. I'd be disappointed, but I get it you know, um, but but yeah, disappointing news, I don't think Tete is pulling a fast one, I think he's genuinely injured, I mean Tete, he doesn't really get paid much in his fights, you know, he's he's not really a name, and you know, the World Boxing Super Series would have been giving him career best paydays basically, so I don't think he's pulling a fast one, I don't think he's faking, I don't think he's ducking, it's just one of those things in my opinion. But yeah, there we go. Share your thoughts below. Peace.